Welcome to Who's Up Next, a video podcast for journal junkies. I'm Sally Bell, your host, and I will be interviewing one of our favorite artists. So grab a cup of coffee, get comfy, and let's see who's up next. Welcome to Who's Up Next and Rainy Day Gypsy. And that's not what I wanted to say at all. So this is all going to be cut. That's okay. 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 It's too bad we don't have bloopers. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Hello, everyone. This is Sally Bell with Rainy Day Gypsy. And welcome to Who's Up Next. Today, we have Anne Kenlin from Portland, Oregon. Welcome, Anne. Hi. Thanks for having me on. Oh, you're certainly welcome. Love to have you. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in Montana. How about Portland? It's beautiful. I just got in from uh, working in the garden a little bit. I had a meeting earlier today. I had a one hour gap before we met and I thought, oh, I have to race <laughs> outside and pull a few weeds and plant oh, a few seeds. So I should have been doing that, but I didn't. <laughs> well, it's nice to have you. So tell us about you. Are you a native Oregonian? I am not. I am a transplant, um, yeah. as uh, as many people are here in Portland. I'm a native mm -hmm. Midwesterner. I grew up uh -huh. in Nebraska, ah. lived various different places um, until 10 years ago. I had spent a little more than, a, um, I guess, about 12, 14 years, I guess, uh, living in, in Corning, New York. And wow. I'm a writer by trade, and I worked in the corporate communications department of Corning Incorporated. Wow. And I've continued as a freelance writer for them even after I retired. So uh, I've been very fortunate to live in some really beautiful places. But uh, when I wanted, like wanted to retire from my day-to-day -day, uh, uh, corporate life in 2014, my husband and I uh, got in our RV with our two cats <laughs> and pointed at West and landed in Portland, Oregon, which is where it was... <laughs> It was not a coincidence. Our daughter oh. lives here in Portland and we, oh, okay. she was about to get married and she and her husband knew they wanted to start their family fairly soon. And we wanted to, wanted to be around, um, uh, in our retirement, uh, uh, where our family was. So that's yeah. how we ended up in Portland. And that was in 2014. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. So you've been there for about 10 years then. Yeah. Uh -huh. Coming and, up. You on. must have, you must have some grandbabies by now to I spoil. I have one, a wonderful boy named Barney, who Aww. is, um, he will tell you he is seven and three quarters. Uh, <laughs> He's what? Oh, seven, seven and three quarters. <laughs> I have a seven-year-old grandson. Yeah, and he's, uh, he's just finishing. In fact, he's in his last week of first grade. Um, oh, okay. Uh, right now, and uh, mm -hmm. he we get to we, we keep him a lot. We have him yeah. every, every Wednesday afternoon after school. You know, we Fun. pick him up, and he's here to play for a few hours and here for dinner. We're taking yeah. him camping week after next, and uh, uh, that's one of our great joys here is to be Barney's so uh, grandma. And definitely. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a cutie! Yeah, we we have Trey and. It's about the same situation. Uh -huh. I just love to be with him. He and I went to the matinee yesterday with that little movie, If. Oh, uh huh. Oh, how cute is that? I yeah, will, really I will take that as a recommendation. Yeah, well, it was really fun. So, mm -hmm. oh, he, he had the best time. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was fun. So I noticed in your videos, uh -huh. you, you talked about taking um, Barney camping. You do a lot of, um, well, you, you've done some uh, crafting even when you're camping, so I was watching that. Uh -huh. You do a lot of things that have to do with nature, which, of course, I love. And that is really, uh -huh. really inspiring to me. And that's, that's really fun. Um, hold on, I'm going to click something here. That's better. Okay. So, um, yeah, and that's really inspiring. In fact, I'm working on a nature journal now, and I found several things that after this interview I'm going to go play with that you taught me. Oh, good. 
so and I'm I'm what I what I found, you correct me, but you're not into the total journal um tutorials and that sort of thing as much as you are into teaching us all sorts of little pockets and um little secret pockets, little secret envelopes, little all that kind of stuff. You know, I, I just kind of do things that occur to me, yeah. you know, and I kind of feel, um, you know, I'll do a video about just something that interests me. And if it interests mm -hmm. other people, great. I really didn't have a great plan about I'm going to be full on tutorial or I'm right. going to be, you know, technique oriented right, right. or anything. Right. Um, but I, I just do things that occur to me that I think, oh, that might be cool. That might be yeah. useful. I do look for different ideas. Yes. I try to uh, try to find things that are going to be a little, um, uh, you know, maybe a little outside the norm, um, but useful. I I just love journals. I love journaling. I have so many sitting around on my desk right now. <laughs> I think because I was a, a writer, a corporate writer for so long and my whole career was really devoted to storytelling and we uh -huh. are the best storytellers of our own lives yeah and we can do that we can pass these things on to you know to little trey or little barney right. Uh, right. by by recording what goes on in our daily lives and and that's the stuff of life you know even right. in our journals we just write day after day you know got up worked in the garden yeah you know found a new recipe went to the right. gym you know even if if the things that seem mundane, there are still really special moments that occur if we remember to write them down. Right. So, you know, maybe we're, you know, we write mass transit um, all the time here in Portland, you know, maybe I'm at the bus stop and I had an interesting little chat with somebody when I'm coming home from the mm -hmm. gym, write down things like that, because those are the things that really add richness and joy to our lives. It's not, you know, necessarily, you know, the big trips or the big events, those right. are wonderful too, but there's so much joy in everyday life. And we can write those down in our everyday journals that we made from things that would otherwise be thrown away and yeah. have a wonderful story. Um, one, yeah, it's certainly to pass on to, you know, to our others, but just to remind ourselves about what's special about our days as well. And right. so that's one thing I, I, one reason I think when I started junk journaling, I clicked so well with it yeah. because it combined, you know, the writing. I've always been a right. writer. Right. Uh, the, um, uh, the, the, I'm, I'm a thrifty Midwesterner by heart. And so you yeah. know, using things that otherwise, you know, that you don't have to go out and buy right. and interest in vintage items and just crafting. I mean, even sewing, I made this quilt yes. back here. Yes, but there's so beautiful. much sewing Damn. that you can do in, um, right. uh, in, in junk journaling as well. So right. it, for me, it combines lots of things together yeah that's great it's it's uh i think you're kind of on the same track that a lot of us are that we've done a lot of crafts through our life but when we found junk journal journaling it was like wow this is this is, this is kind of yeah it's uh -huh. the best one i've ever had now you know ask me in five years i might find something else but man i just love it i'm hooked yeah you know <laughs> Uh -huh. Jeez, it's crazy. Um, I noticed too. Well, all your little secret envelopes and all your little those are so much fun, and they're quick. And yeah. you're a good and you're a good teacher. Thank I you. Know, yes. Um, <laughs> did, you never did any teaching or anything, right? I, I have actually. Okay. I taught okay. um, uh, I, again as a writer in my corporate life. I led uh, you know a fair amount of, of workshops for other, particularly younger younger gotcha. writers coming into the communications function at the companies that I worked for. Um, uh -huh. But uh, since I retired from my day to day life. Day-to-day uh, -day life, day-to-day -day corporate <laughs> working life. Yeah. Um, I, I have been a professor, an adjunct professor at Portland State University and taught uh -huh. business writing there. I have since retired from that. I'm not doing that anymore, but I did that yeah. for about eight years uh, okay. when I first retired. So, you know, so I have taught. Yeah. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, focused on the subject that I'm really passionate about, which is writing. Right. And now, I right. guess, you know, junk journaling. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're a great teacher. So Thank a lot you. of those things that, you know, you teach us how to fold, you do this, you do that. It's um, very clear and, very, you know, I enjoyed it. Thank you. The, the other one that I really liked was um, the book. The, the yellow book that you're teaching us how I, I didn't get all the way through this one yet, but I'm going to do that later. Um, teaching us how what to use in the book, how to tear the book apart. And then you went ahead and did the labels on. The, oh, yeah. 
that. That's yeah, cool. but, but yeah, you, thank you for that's, remembering that. Yes. How I harvest, I think I called that. Yeah, how I harvest, harvest the book. Oh yeah, yeah that was mm-hmm. cool. Yeah, that was cool. I need to get me some of those um, tag stencils. Oh, uh, the the stamps. The stamps. Those, yeah, the those stamps, are, yeah. yeah, those are super stamps. useful. In yeah, fact, I've seen my, other people use those, and the, yeah. They, my my supply of uh, of labels is running low. In fact, I was oh. just thinking the other day I need to get those things out. And, and I <laughs> there there are some I buy very few digitals. If I do buy digitals, they're likely to be labels. But then I like to make them <laughs> my, my own labels as well. Right. So it, I think they all combine uh, together yeah. to be just interesting little interesting little little visual right. element on a page I, that can yeah. help fill space. But then just gives your eyes something different to rest on and go hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And when you do it, like you said, harvesting your book, nobody else has that label. Yeah. It's, uh-huh. you know, it's, it's just uh-huh. kind of cool. Yeah. So that's neat. Yeah. I like that. I did take a class one time from Lally Mill. I don't know if you know her, but she in the evening, this sounds um, like a lot of work, but in the evening she would go through her books and cut out little words throughout the text and throw them in a little thing. And then she'd use those. I've always wanted to do that, but I guess I'm too lazy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you're lazy, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've never got to that part, but you know, then there's the other part about, okay, I need a word. And then they, then you have to sort through the words and it's like, <laughs> okay. I don't know. I'll just type them, cut them out, and, uh-huh. you know, T dam or whatever. Anyway. That that's that harvesting the book was a good one to, Thank to look you. at. Just Thank just you. aside to the audience, uh-huh. she's got some really good stuff over there that I learned quite a few things just playing, just doing my homework, checking on you. So um, let me ask you this: uh-huh. Have you ever taught? Is are are our seven year old grandsons too young to learn to journal? <laughs> I don't well, know. <laughs> Actually, uh, probably before, even before I started this YouTube uh, channel, um, Barney was very interested in sorts of mystery sorts of things. And so this Mm -hmm. would have been, was it last summer or the summer before? It would have been maybe the summer he was five. Uh Uh-huh. It matters not, but um, yeah. he wanted he wanted to make a field guide for his oh. for a mystery, and he drew this elaborate yeah. um, uh, map of some hidden treasure, and there was a wow. pirate's cove, and you know, I mean, you couldn't really, yeah. I mean, you could kind of tell it was a map, yeah. you know. Yeah, he knew but what it was. I, I don't think it would have passed muster at Rand McNally in terms <laughs> of its accuracy, but. Um, Anyway, he so he he sort of imagined a game where you were getting clues and you could go on this, you know, on this mysterious route through this mystical land that he had had created on this long scroll of paper. And he wanted a field. I guess he called it a field guide. Uh huh. And he 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 couldn't write very well then, but he could you know tell grandma what to write. Down. <laughs> right. And so uh, in that sense, we um, uh, you know we made this book together, and he you know uh-huh. gave lots of elaborate instructions of things that you know mm-hmm. instructions that I should give. So in that sense, you know I guess we yeah. worked together to journal. And then just yeah. yesterday when he was over here, he's excited about the summer reading program at the uh-huh. local library, which of course oh, yeah. most local libraries have. I grew right. up with those. I loved summer reading. Right. And he's a really good reader now. And so he wanted, there. there's a, 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 a big chart that the library gives them where they can take, you know, keep oh, yeah. track of, of their, yeah. it, but it's kind of elaborate. He wanted to have, you know, more of a, a concise sort of a journal mm. so he could write down his books that he read over the summer. So we kind of planned that out. So oh, in that sense, I, I feel like I'm introducing him to yes. making books yeah. and to, you know, recording things um, right. that are, that are important to him. Journaling, not per se, but right, right, um, right, right. we're yeah. doing, we're doing the sorts of things that are interesting to him and we're having yeah. a lot of fun doing right. it. Right. Right. Elaborate maps and all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was thinking maybe getting Trey and doing a little, uh, just a little flip through, like a, like a little, um, what do they call the little pocket things, um, you know, portfolio. Yeah, portfolio. uh-huh, yeah. And, you know, doing a little um, journal thing where we could go on a nature walk or something mm-hmm. and, and discover, you know, find a feather or a pretty leaf or something, wildflower or something. Doing something like that. Um you know, something fun for summer. Yeah, yeah, that's good. We'll put actually, yeah, Barney. We'll see and I how were, it goes. 
Yeah, we were going to work on this book journal uh, on a camping trip, but my, I might throw in some extra supplies and uh, let him make a nature journal too. He loves yeah. scavenger hunts. Loves oh, scavenger hunts. So yeah. you know, we could we could write down some instructions. Yeah. There's just so many possibilities, aren't there? And yes. kids are so inspirational about oh, making this. Like, what if? What if we did yeah. this? That'd oh be yeah. Fun. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, um, also, I noticed that you do watercolor. Well, I'm just starting to. Um, okay. And I I'm, love it. That'd be fun to teach him. It would. It would. Yeah. I love it. I just signed up for an online class. Um, uh -huh. I just downloaded one. And I'm learning a lot from other YouTubers. Mm. Um, mm. I'm so fond of Julie Torrens. Um, mm. She has a really good uh, YouTube channel where she does lots of crafting in general but she's particularly good at watercolor and in Ooh. fact her roots as an artist are in watercoloring uh-huh and uh, in fact i have i have some of her artwork uh, right here she sent oh, me oh good I, i've I, i've cut out oh. look at that. Oh, yeah. I spent, did you do this no i Julie oh, she, did this she sent yeah. me some printouts and i had a meeting earlier this morning that was on zoom and i spent part of it fussy cutting so oh yeah <laughs> but this is the kind of watercolor thing that oh, Julie teaches, yeah. and so i'm i'm really uh, um catching up on her watercolor tutorials yes. i'm taking another class and i'm just practicing you know yeah um, am i a skilled watercolor artist absolutely not but but, you know, yeah. you don't have to be Julia Child to make a decent meal for your family. You know, <laughs> I, I do lots of comparison between art and cooking. And oh, people yeah. that say, oh, I can't do that. Well, mm, yeah. you know, yeah, you, you can. Yeah, you can. You, know, you yeah. really can. Pick it up. Have you tried? But if you want to. If you want to. If you want to. Exactly. Yeah. The same with, with cooking. You know, you can, you know, cook delicious, wonderful, perfectly serviceable meals for your family. With, right. uh, you know, without being a Michelin star chef. You know, you can do perfectly wonderful, enjoyable artwork without being, you know, Frida Kahlo right. or, you right. know, or. Well, and that's what sets us apart. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we don't we don't want to be them or, you know, mm -hmm. we would strive for that. But a little watercolor here and there might uh -huh. be fun in the journals. And I played with some, but, um, you know, I thought it'd be just kind of easy to do your brush or your or your water brush thing. You know I, yeah, I, I like oh, I saw those in your kit when you went camping. Yeah. And. Uh, and I thought, oh, I'll just do some little wildflowers with some little stems. And yeah. I'm thinking, that doesn't look like anything. That looks like a bunch of blobs. But I'm working at it. Well, you know it's, what? It's if you fun. go back to cooking, I bet the first batch of pancakes you made might not have been that good either. But you get better, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. do. I know. It's kind of fun. Yeah, that's another thing I'd love to throw in. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, like in my nature journal I'm working on now, that would be fun to have some of that in there. So I'll practice. You know, na nature, I mean, I'm, I'm like every other drink journaler out there, you know, feeling always so inspired by nature. But right. one thing that, that, that I do love so much about the, the, the lessons, the artistic lessons that nature teaches uh -huh. us is reshaping our, eye, our, our idea of what is beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, you know, we can look at a stunning, beautiful flower or a perfectly formed tree or a mountain landscape and be, oh, this, you know, this is beautiful. It's perfection. Right. But when we start looking at the imperfections and celebrating the beauty mm -hmm. there, I think that gives us a real special connection to, I guess, just life, you know, yeah. and, and, you know, that, that a last summer we were in, um, uh, Dan and I were camping in the Redwood Forest and the Redwoods mm -hmm. are filled with trees that have fallen down or are now oh. decaying. Well, that's good though. Oh, okay. Decaying, you know, going, you know, because that's nature's way. Things right. fall down, right. you know, they get filled, you know, a, a single fallen log can be home to, you know, thousands of, you know, hundreds well, of thousands, perhaps of different kinds of microorganisms. But right. it can, you know, as those things decay, then they add nourishment into right. the ground. And then that leads new, you know, it has new yeah. forests coming up. And yeah. so when we learn to look at things that are damaged and on their surface have no utility left in life, that's not the case, you know? And it's the same with the things that we put into our junk journal. There can yes. be a damaged piece of, of packaging oh, yeah. or a torn right. map or an outdated book. And we think, oh, this thing has no utility anymore. Yeah, right. it does yeah. It have utility. And that's, I think, junk in junk journaling, we, you know, we really celebrate that which 
might otherwise be disregarded, like a fallen right. tree might be like, disregarded. Right. Uh, yeah. uh, but in fact, it's actually, it's absolutely essential to life and we can, and yeah. it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Right. So we can learn those lessons, I think. And, and, you know, for us as people, you know, I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm older, I'm almost 68. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I certainly think I have a lot to still give to the world. I have right. a lot of friends that are in their, you know, late seventies, eighties, uh -huh. even into the nineties that are still bringing great joy and great learning to, right. um, uh, uh, to, to their, their, you know, their, their communities right. and, and beautiful, beautiful people. Um, you know, there's inevitable damage and wear over, over time. Right. Right. Um, but that doesn't mean that they're not beautiful and absolutely essential to a vibrant community. And, um, I'm getting extremely philosophical there, but I think <laughs> there's a lot that nature can inform our junk journaling and then that right. kind of informs how right. we, uh, uh, how we view beauty, um, and utility and, and yeah. grace in life in general. Well, just the term junk journaling is, you uh -huh. know, we use the junk that, you know, people uh -huh. have discovered well, that little thing, that little thing you printed that you said that we can use. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. I love that. Oh, you guys audience, you got to go and get that from her. That is cool. I'm going to put that in all my journals now. Oh, but feel free to. But, and I hope you adapt. Yeah, well, it well, you said we could. So yeah, I'm, I'm oh. not just assuming, but you said we could. So yeah, I am. Absolutely. I wrote it to be shared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. And it, and it talks about, you know, uh, in our junk journals, we use things that would normally be thrown away and, you know, we've, we've repurposed them and whatever, uh -huh. given them a new life. And I love that. And it's just like you said, the redwood trees, you know, I guess he's the junk journal of the forest <laughs> using the old junk to read the forest. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. And, and to celebrate yeah. that, that aesthetic, but also just that whole notion of uh -huh. that, which is old and decaying, still has so is absolutely essential to the circle of life so yeah 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 Ooh, you i should have so. violins playing or something yeah, I <laughs> not to get all preachy if i could play yeah. yeah yeah oh that's cool yeah that's that's uh you're my most philosophical <laughs> guest yet <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I love how you think of things. That's really neat. Yeah, because, you know, it's the same thing with, um, you know, my mother's 92 and she's still got a lot of life left in her and a lot mm -hmm. left to give to society. And she's um, such a wonderful person. And then, you know, our little grandsons here, they're yes. growing up. And yeah, the circle of life. You have yeah. both both ends of the spectrum. There. Right. They're, they're all essential and they're all right. celebrated. So. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's great. So tell me what's, uh, do you do digitals? Do you design digitals? No, no, mm -mm, okay. no, no. And, and are you on any design teams? Nope. Okay. Nope. And so um, tell us what's on the burner. What's coming up? Anything new? Well, more, more secret pockets or anything? <laughs> you like those secret pockets, Sally. I love those secret pockets. What are you hiding in there? I don't know, but I'm thinking of some good stuff. <laughs> yeah, um, that one little secret pocket where you pulled the pulled the thing back, and yeah, that was cute. I gotta make one. Yeah, I I liked that one. That I liked uh -huh. that one a lot. What's up next? You know, I, I sort of have been having fun over recent months because I've only been on YouTube for less than a year, so I haven't been doing oh. it very long. Well, um, you've got a lot out there for a year. I, I guess I do. It's just yeah. it, I, I started it because I really kind of wanted to push myself creatively and have that uh -huh. schedule. I've yeah. heard you mention Twyla Tharp uh, before, and oh, yes. uh, you know the, the creative habit, and and oh, I, yeah, I, I, I love, love I love that book. I've yes. I think it's been out. 10 years or more. Oh, I at least I'd say. At least. Yeah. Yeah. I think I first got it about 10 years ago. Anyway, I mean, she talks so much about creativity as a habit and, uh -huh. and um, you know, having having some discipline around your creative process, um, yeah. you know, is actually a very freeing sort of thing that can let you uh -huh. explore in, in new ways. And so um, that's what, you know, having YouTube has really done for me to get out those two videos a week. Um, but so almost by accident, I started kind of exploring this idea of these little whim whimsical birds and whimsical um, yes. animals. Seen, I have a lot of things that are really, really neutral, you know, really, uh -huh. you know, really neutral. But then when I kind of started to push, my, push myself a little bit more, I started uh -huh. adding some color uh -huh. and um, some ki a kind of sense of, you know, sense of whimsy. Uh -huh. And... Um, 
uh, I would really kind of like to focus on that a little bit more and do some all whimsical journals and things that have a sense oh, of fun. Cool. Um, yeah. I, I think that, it, and I think that's one thing getting into the watercolor too, when you kind of focus on a whimsical style, you're not worried about perfection yeah, because, true. Yeah, you know, true. you're, you, there's a bit of a childlike wonder that right. you can put into your stuff. It doesn't mean your stuff is, is childish, but it can be childlike in its, in right. its, in its exuberance right. and handled correctly. I think that can be really fun and can be sort of inspirational for a journal as well. Yes. And uh, so I, I, I kind of want to explore, you know, keep exploring that whimsical right. side of things. I, that I, I love the whimsical bird. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Go for it. I'm excited to see that. Mm -hmm. I, I like exciting. mushrooms a lot too. I, oh I, yes, I, yes you do. Yes. What do you, what do you call them? Well, you call the, them something. The the event uh, was Game of Shrooms. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, and it was just was this cool. past weekend, and oh, okay. uh, yeah, I made a, a mushroom themed journal that was very uh -huh. very whimsical, and yes. uh, makers all over the world would take their mushroom themed artwork and hide it in public places, <laughs> and. Um, uh, and then you post clues on social media and, and oh. just hope somebody finds it. And oh. the woman that found my mushroom journal was so excited. She was so oh, happy. My so, gosh, how cute is that? Yeah, that was a fun event. But I had a lot of fun exploring the whole whimsical mushroom thing. So it was good for yeah. me as a creator as well. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was cute. I liked that, that, that book. And I saw you making mushrooms and that was cutting them out and gluing the stems on stuff. That was cute. Yeah. Mushrooms uh, lend themselves really well to watercolor too. So as I oh. kind of get more into the watercolor thing, I'll, I'll uh, there will be more shrooms in my future. I think. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Illegal shrooms. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> my sister, you know, it's funny. My um, my sister Jeej, her name's Marge, but I always call her Jeej. My yeah. sister Jeej lives in um in San Diego and she uh -huh. loved that mushroom journal so much. And oh. she did not mind admitting that she was hoping nobody would find it because then I would uh, <laughs> put it in the mail to her cause she really wanted that mushroom Cute. journal. So oh, I, um, we'll have to I, make one. I think I will kind of have to do that because yeah. I love my sister. <laughs> yeah, I know. And sometimes it's fun to redo one. Um, mm -hmm. My sister was doing two, two journals, kids journals for her granddaughters at a time. And she said that got a little overwhelming to her two at a time. The same. Uh -huh. she yeah. Like, oh, okay. When is this going to end? Uh -huh. But I think if you did one after the other, a little time after, yeah. uh -huh. it wouldn't be so bad because you would have other ideas to put in there. Yeah. They, they wouldn't be identical anyway. I would do it, you know, specifically with my sister in mind. Now I have yeah. to do it. I would yeah. do it anyway. <laughs> Oh, did we let it out of the bag? It's okay. It's okay. I can cut that part. No, 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 no. She will. She will not <laughs> okay. be surprised. What do you call her, Jeej? I, I okay. call her Jeej. Her name's Marge, but yeah, we. I won't. call her Marge too, but when I refer to her, I usually call her my sister Jeej. Well, this won't come out for a while, so so maybe you'll have time <laughs> okay. to get it to her. <laughs> we didn't want to spoil the the yeah, surprise. Okay. okay, so um, tell me. How long you? Oh, you've only been on YouTube a year. How how long have you been journaling? Oh golly, you know, I mean, I've been a, a journaler and a diary writer ever since mm -hmm. I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Making junk journals, I actually started as I think a lot of people did during those dark quarantine months mm -hmm. of twenty twenty. That's We're interesting. We're stuck at home and uh, couldn't, you know, couldn't. I, I was always a card maker. I had mm -hmm. I had made enough cards. To, Oh yeah. <laughs> I had every birthday, every anniversary, everything covered for the next like couple of years. Wow. For, like, everybody I ever knew. I thought, what do I what do I make? I sewed different things. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I started hearing on Pinterest about, you know, seeing on Pinterest this, these things called junk journals. I thought, wow, yeah. that's yeah. kind of interesting. Uh huh. And I kind of got into it a little bit more, and I made one to send to my friend Connie in Tennessee. And mm -hmm. I kind of just started really realizing, like we were talking earlier, how it brings for me it brings together so many things. You know, right. 
the 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 writing, the paper crafts, the vintage items, the right. the thriftiness, it just coalesced for me. Yeah. So I really started as a junk journaler, making some spectacularly bad <laughs> junk journals, but I loved them because they were just for me, you know. So right, I right, you know, build right. them up, and I did everything wrong. And guess what? It didn't matter. Yeah. I put things on pages that were too flimsy. I stamped on paper that <laughs> things came through. But you know, I was literally hunting in my recycling bin in my attic for supplies. Yeah. It was great, you know. Oh, I know. I love it. So I, that I lo I love to find those old old papers. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it was fun. But yeah. um, yeah. So I've been, you know, a, a junk journaler for you know a little little more than four years now. But I started. I've had a YouTube account for years, like most people uh -huh. have, um, uh -huh. and I posted a, an occasional video, but it was mostly like of my garden because I wanted to show my sister what was growing in my garden and the gotcha. and, and the the video file was too big to text to her, you know. So it right, was right, that. right. Okay. And gotcha. I did a couple things for like, you know, junk journal January and December and some of those things, you know, but I I mean I I never had any traction on it and I didn't I didn't care. I just kind of wanted to right. wanted to film them to sort of share in those discussion groups. Right. And then I don't know, just one day last summer I was making a um, uh, a specimen card. My friend's husband had found a, a four leaf clover. I thought, you know, I'm going to make that into a little specimen Cute. card. I'm just going to do that. And I just decided to film it and put it out. And I don't even know why. And I started getting all these views on it. And I thought, cool. seriously? <laughs> I mean, there's because there's so many great YouTubers out there. And I thought, wow, I don't really have anything new to add. That's kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it was kind of fun. And so yeah. I thought, well, yeah. I have, I do have this little tag idea that might be kind of interesting. So I thought, you know, no harm. Yeah, just you kept know, going. Yeah. No harm done. If nobody watches yeah. it, I'm not right. offending them. If, right. you know, if, you know, if I don't come back and do anything, but yeah. I just, I just started really enjoying it. And then I got into doing it twice a week and, and, yeah. you know, it's still not huge, but it's perfectly manageable for me. And I, again, I, I like the creative push. Well, I was going to ask you about that. You post on YouTube twice a week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's a lot for me, <laughs> you know, but my projects, you do little projects and, mm -hmm. and show us a little thing. That is really a good idea. Oops. But, um, you know, I can't get a journal done to put it out that fast mm -hmm. and the broadcast, but, but I like the idea of the little things. Uh -huh. um, yeah, that's really cute because everybody's looking for little things to tuck into their journals. Yeah, yeah occasionally yeah. I do. I do a full uh, a full journal, mm -hmm. um, but I I never have those multi. Um, you know, and, and I love when some YouTube creators do have, they'll have like, you know, maybe a five or six part episode where they keep, right. you know, they do another stage, you know, right. of, of the journal. And that's not really my thing to, to share. Right. I'd rather have, you know, a short, you know, 30, 25 to 35 minutes, you know, not super long, right. um, you know, to, uh, um, you know, just to have those few little ideas. That's my, that's sort of my style and what I like yeah. to share. Yes. Um, but niche. that's the beauty of crafting on YouTube is you can do whatever yeah. feels comfortable to yeah. you. Yeah. And you if people like it, it that's great. Yeah. 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 yeah, I know. I love it. And even if you're doing something that you saw somebody else do, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you put, put a new twist on it or your little twist on it and put it out there again. People love it. You know, yeah. They, uh -huh. they love it. I, I think it's really fun. And and I think journal journalers um, love to share, yeah. you know, it, <laughs> it's it's unlike other things where mm, she's copying my quilt or, you know, that was my design or, you know, some of the other crafts. It's not like that so much. It's, it's a very generous community. Yeah, it's I, very I really different. like that. Yeah. Yeah. The, the vibe is, is, is mm -hmm. really positive, I think, in the junk journaling world. And I really I like that. I do yeah. too. Uh -huh. I think it's great. So, um, do you, do you do, uh, you, you don't have a website where you do, uh, classes for sale or on your Etsy or, in, okay. No. Yeah. I wondered. <laughs> okay. So, uh, some people do. Yeah, and, uh -huh. you know, I, I wondered how. how at at this works. stage of my life, I'm just, um, you know, just having I, fun. I'm just having fun. I'm just yeah. enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I do great. sell some of my products at a couple of local shops there because, mm -hmm. here because really? you know, yeah, because you know, 
sometimes you make so much stuff, you know, what are you going to do with it all? I know. So and, there's and, a... And Jeej probably has a lot of journals. All <laughs> she has a few. <laughs> yeah. She has a few. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. So what do you want to tell our journalers that are watching out there? Oh, golly. Use your journals. Use them. Yeah, I, I've, write I've, in them? I've seen, yeah, write in them. You know, grab them. Write in them. Um, yeah. You know, they're just... They're just so useful. Right. It's only paper, you know. True. People think, you know, oh, you know, like if you give them a journal as a gift. Right. You know, people will sometimes say, oh, it's so beautiful. I don't want to write in it. And that's the last thing I want to hear. Right. I want to hear, oh, man, I can't wait to grab that pencil yeah. and start, you know, writing know. things down in it. So I do make them, to, you know, to be used. Yeah. Um, and once you, you know, once you start writing them, once you get, you know, you don't have to write down, you know, great, you know, works of literature. Right. Yes, I'm not. You're right. probably not either. No. But you can write down, you know, reminders. I've got. What, or I little uh, little scriptures or little quotes that mean Little something. quotes, little song yeah. lyrics, little, yeah, yeah. little, little, yeah. you know, special things. I've yeah. got. Oh, um, oh show us. Oh, show us, show us. I'm a reaching. I, oh. I, 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 I show this on my channel a lot, but I made some months ago this gardening yeah. notebook. Oh, cute. And this, is, this has been, and on the cover, I, I put some of those like little plastic uh, plant markers, you know, when you buy oh, them. Yeah. I didn't, yeah, I didn't yeah. want to throw them away, what? so I just put them on the cover. But I just, you know, I write and oh, write and look write. look at you. Well, I write like little lists of things i write you yeah. know how the garden is doing but um, yeah or uh, what you planted where or, what i yeah. planted where but i you know reminders you know things i need to divide mm -hmm. this fall wow. there's there's nothing personal in here so i'm oh, not okay. i'm not giving uh, you my passwords or, <laughs> but um oh look at you you, know, you actually write in them i, I love yes, it. just you yes know, i in love it. it you know and have okay. little pockets so there's a little thing barney barney made but you know i put okay. a few a few receipts in here. Yes. And I, I love to write on the backs of the tags. Oh, I do too. Yeah, yeah. I absolutely do. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, my advice for journal journalers is don't don't be you know, don't be afraid of the page. Write down, you know, if you if you're a, a parent or a grandparent, write uh -huh. down a few things your kiddo says. I have given for uh, for a lot of gifts to my like great nieces and nephews that are all uh -huh. having babies now. Uh -huh. I'll make them um uh, a little journal uh, uh, when the baby is born saying, you know, uh -huh. things and, and, and things Joshua said or yeah. things. Oh, Everly said. Cute. Yeah. And then the yes. young mom, as the baby gets older and begins to talk and there's all these little tags and they can oh. just write down the date in this funny way that he had of talking about Jello or this cute little <laughs> yes. way that she, you know, talked about putting her on her shoes. We have lots and lots of photos of our children in our Right, family. right. But how but we, often do we yes. write down right, things right. that they say exactly. as they're beginning to explore their own voices and that, jot down those things? Yeah, yeah, I love that. I love that. So I, I'm idea. so glad, you know, I, I mean, I used to write down, especially when Barney was really little, things uh -huh. he said, and I still, and I remember them because I wrote them down. So, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's cute. My, my dad was uh, born in 1927, mm -hmm. and in his baby book, his mother had written thing cute things he'd said and we what still, a treasure we what still say treasure. those things yeah yeah when my sisters and i will still say some of those funny little things he said it was kind of cute so you know it stays through generations yeah, it, does. it becomes wonderful. part of the, the the texture of your family Ooh, right yeah. right uh -huh. well that's great so what's on the agenda more coming up next week two more posts two more posts well i'm gonna do um Actually, I'm going to go back to my uh, my card making roots for the posts uh, next week, and they will have aired probably by the time this comes out. Oh, but right. when um, I often look back on things that I did at card making and see how I can I adapt them to some mm. sort of journal design. So I have some Good things idea. I'm doing with some paper punches and a, a twisted ribbon technique um, ah. that is really cute to, for okay. a, um, a, for a journal cards. So yeah. uh, so that's you know I, I have a little bit of a um, a uh, little bit of uh, experimentation going on in my craft room in my basement right now. Oh, do you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, that's great. We um, we'll have to look forward to that. Mm -hmm. Everybody watching. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, 
like you say, you'll air before we air, but we'll always go back. You can always go back. There's right. Always. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how long YouTube's going to be hold all our stuff. I don't know. Yeah, this I is know, weird, it isn't it? At some point. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Okay. Well, Anne, it was nice talking to you. We're getting near the end of our uh -huh. time. So um, it was a real pleasure. It was great. Thank you so much, yeah. Sally. My little afternoon philosophical friend. Yeah, from Oregon. <laughs> yeah, that was great. So um, listen, it was what it was a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Thank you so and much for having me. It was we really will be fun. In nice, touch. So nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. And um, we'll get all all Anne's social media links below in the description <laughs> box. You'll send them to me, right, Anne? I will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And um, anyway, uh, you this video will be out in probably about a month, right? So okay, it was super. I, I, I assume that everything will still be uh, valid. I still love fallen, decaying trees, yeah. and uh, you know, <laughs> they'll they'll still be there. And I and I'm still pulling things out of my recycling bin to craft with. So there you go. <laughs> Okay. Well, listen, it was good to see you. And thank you to the audience for listening today. And give Anne a thumbs up. Go go see her uh, YouTube channel. We'll link it. And look at all the fun things she does. And go t have her teach you how to harvest a book. I love that. That's where I'm going next. Okay. Thank you, Anne. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.